Let's take a look at the job duties of the different positions to produce a team talk radio show. The senior producer is responsible for the episode as a whole. The producer will be in contact with all segment producers, hosts, and technicians. And their responsibilities include uh, overseeing the entire script, that it is actually uh, completed by all the segment producers. These uh, producers could be working on the same document in Google Docs um, from various classes, uh, various computers, obviously, and even various schools. All files are um, in the correct format, that they're assembled correctly, they're organized, they're on time, and then uh, ultimately submitted to Radio Free Palmer. Um, they're responsible for communication between the segment producers, teachers, and other talent. They work closely with the show host, and often they are the show host. Uh, but they don't have to be necessarily. Um, they can be on-air talent during the news and discussion session, and they keep all staff on time and on their deadlines. They decide on the theme with the main host, and they keep all staff on the main theme, making sure that the, everybody keeps focused. They are also ultimately responsible for the timings, that making sure that the show falls between 59 minutes and 59 minutes and 30 seconds long. And they are responsible for the final editing. Now, the senior producer doesn't have to do all the editing, um, but they are ultimately responsible for that. So if producers who um, should be doing editing their uh, programs are not, then the senior producer may need to step in. Now, the show host um, or reporter uh, is often um, uh, the the uh, producer uh, as well, but doesn't necessarily need to be. They are responsible for the sound and the feel of the episode and is the voice of the show. They open and close the episode, so they should be in the beginning of the news section and they should be in the end in the wrap-up session. They're responsible for the headlines, the main theme, and the script. They lead the roundtable discussions, so they should have some talking points. They should have some questions already thought out and written out, even if it's just uh, in a bulleted list on the script. They lead the wrap discussion. This is what we use to zero off the show at the correct time. They may, may need to create transitions between some segments for consistency or timing. Uh, and of course, they are responsible for editing of news, discussion, uh, their own transitions, and the wrap session. Now, some of this may be handed off uh, from the journalism class to the media class uh, as needed. And they assist the senior producer in the final show edit as needed. So there should not ever be two producers, but there could be a show host and a producer um, that could work together. The reporters uh, for the news section, they summarize and analyze news stories. So they research interesting stories and then they summarize them in a one to two paragraph format for the spoken word. Please understand that um, when news articles are written, they're not not—they're written to be read and not necessarily spoken. So uh, just cutting and pasting the first couple paragraphs of the news story is typically not going to work. They'll need to rewrite it uh, exactly how they need to say it. And the best way to do that is to, uh, as you write your story, by summarizing a story, read it out loud a few times and, and then if you say it differently than you read it, naturally, then, then change the way you have it written. They research additional information, facts, sources of news, and the main theme, so that they have some talking points and some background information on that. Um, they're the talent with the show host and the news, the roundtable, and the rap session. They should be in there speaking, contributing to their own stories. Um, they can assist with editing as needed and assist other segment producers when they need help. Now, the reporters are responsible for giving the other... Uh, voices on the radio, the other reporters, some background information on their story and should not necessarily come to the table with something that nobody's ever seen before. It's very important that we meet together and everybody discuss their stories so that we can have qualified value um, value opinions um, on our uh, on our discussions. If it's the first time a reporter's heard somebody else's story, they may be just pulling something out of their butt to um, come up with a response and then that doesn't sound very good on the radio uh, for the listeners.
The music director um, not only picks the music, but they need to research and develop a playlist and talk uh, and their talk based on the show theme. They should pick, uh, usually we get about five songs on the theme, sometimes more and sometimes less, um, but the theme can be justified simply by a style of music, the genre, the artist, the sound um, of, of the music, or even the, you know, the lyrics and, you know, what, what is that song about? Uh, they must explain how the playlist is justified and how it um, uh, relates to the theme. They research and uh, script information about each song and the theme. They discuss the theme openly. Um, there are two or three music breaks where one song will be played and the third break is dependent on if one is required in the Act 3 section to make up time or as a logical transition between some segments. They should work with the senior producer on this one. Um, while we do have a, a script, there's a lot of leeway for um, changing it as the needs of each episode, um, you know, may dictate. There is one music segment, segment where up to two songs can be played on a theme with the discussion along with other, uh, maybe even another host, which would be fine if they choose, and all music must be approved and submitted before the day of recording. So that will go to the ultimate producer, um, and of course, the final say is by me. So the music you choose should be, um, you know, the clean versions of songs, and it should be appropriate for high school and appropriate for a public community audience. A segment producer is anyone who produces a standalone segment. In Teen Talk, we usually refer to it as a special segment, though this may not be an, an industry term, uh, but it's one we use. And... Um, that could also imply uh, perhaps like uh, sports or calendar uh, producers. But the responsibilities include an opening segment with a musical bite, introduction of self, and an introduction of the segment. They should have all the research and the scripting of the topic. We don't go out there and just pull this off the top of our head. We need to have scripts. Um, often we have talking points after we've introduced our topic, and that's fine if it's just a bulleted list of ideas. Um, our initial stories need to start with a word-for-word -word script. They need to supply any additional music or sound effects they need with their a segment. And um, they are also responsible for the recording and usually the editing of what we call the deliverables. That is the final product. Again, our um, audio-video media class may be giving some assistance on that uh, uh on that level. Um, and they should be managing, assisting any reporters. And if as often as the producer or the reporter will be one on the same. Um, uh, and, of course, communicating with the senior producer. Now, special reporters are student journalists who produce a single news feature story or interview or other special segment. Often a special segment producer or a special reporter are one and the same, but a reporter can team with a segment producer to split the duties. And in this case, the reporter will be in charge of researching and recording the actual story as talent, and the producer will act as a recording engineer and editor. Of course, these duties can overlap and will become a joint effort. File management is very important, and we'll talk about that in the next video.